I didn't like the heat and I didn't like the um, mosquitoes. But I have a, a go over, the country life is far different, of course, from the town. I did find it hard, but I went to my husband being so good to me. I just stood it, and that was that. That's about all. Yes, we lived very happily there together. And uh, I didn't have to do any outdoor work. And we had an old pension that was used to um, make the cows for us. And one day when my husband was away, I thought, oh, I'd like to learn to milk. So I went down to the yard and I said, Pat, I want to learn to milk. He said, all right, Mrs. I said, give me an easy one. I said, I, think I knew that there was, I heard them say there's someone easy and someone hard. Yes, Mrs. He said, I'll give you an easy one. So he sat me down, and my husband's brother came riding a pass, and he said, what, are you learning to milk? And I said, yes. And he said, by and you've got the hardest cow in the yard. <laughs> yeah. Many years passed at this new place, the war broke out, and my son was called up, my eldest son, and my girls, they both went, went nursing, went to train as nurses. And uh, my next son, he, he carried on, helped his father, and the younger one, he was delicate, he went to go to school. Anyway, time went on, and they all, all married except my youngest son which is delicate. But, uh, I don't think there's anything else particularly. How old are you now? 86. No, I'm 86, but I had, I had good children. They were very good, all of them. And uh, the girls, not for me to skate, they were very good too. And the, and the boys, they were all very good to me. And. Uh, I felt it very much when my husband was taken ill. He was gassed while he was in France, and he had emphysema. So he was in the hospital for three years before he died. 